Hey, this is Clint, and I'm glad you're back for this your Biblical Millionaire Blueprint. What I want to do, I want to get one-on-one -on -one with you here, and I want to share my personal journey to building wealth. Um, I'm just going to give you some highlights. We're going to start actually at age eight. Uh, my father, in this field right behind us where, where we're shooting the video at, he planted three acres of cucumbers, and one of my jobs for the summer was to go up and weed the cucumbers and then pick the cucumbers and I would uh, you know take a half bushel basket as an eight-year-old kid and I would carry those to the end of the row and I would get paid 30 cents a half bushel for for each one of these baskets that I picked and it was hard work all summer for an eight-year-old kid when I when I was in school I would hear kids complain about Oh, my mom made me take the trash out and I had to wash the dishes and I just thought to myself oh my you have no idea so I really learned a great work ethic from living on the farm and it was a great foundation to that wealth building process now we we go to September of that year and the season's done and my father says Clint I want you to get in the truck we're going down to our local town Quarryville so we get in our Chevy pickup truck we we go down to we get into, we walk into the bank, and uh, my father stands there and he talks to the teller, and he turns around and he looks at me and he hands me a, a bank book, and he says, Clint, he said, you made ninety dollars this summer, and he said I'm going to give you a ten dollar bonus, and he said we're going to take this and we're going to put this away for you, and this will be yours. Now when he did that. It was an, this is the first step for me in a huge in having a wealth building mindset in moving in this millionaire journey. So now we moved at age 19. I'm going to go into the construction industry. I'm still living at home, and uh, I need a I need a pickup truck. So I find a Toyota 4x4. It's eight thousand five hundred dollars. Uh, it's just ex it's exactly what I need, and I'm going to need to take out a loan for about six thousand dollars. So this was April of that particular year. Over the next six months I proceeded to pay that loan off by October. So six months the loan was completely paid off and I'm making another move in my wealth building journey. We move ahead again to age 24 and you know all the things I'm sharing with you is not a typical American way to do things but it is a biblical way to do things and and that's what that's what I really want to emphasize in sharing this with you so at age 24 my wife and I on this very same property are getting ready to build our first home not by getting a mortgage from the bank but with cash so we're not I, I'm not gonna go into I don't have got time to go into the detail of this but we didn't fully complete the lower level. We did one floor and we were able to move into the house. So never happened to experience a 30 year mortgage. Uh, we're building a strong financial foundation in order to keep moving forward. That very same, in that very same time frame, uh, age, between age 24 and age 25, the guy that I was running the business for was going to get out of it. He had builders that owed him money, a tremendous amount of money. He was going to have to borrow money in order to pay us, and there was four workers. Uh, there, excuse me, there was five of us. And uh, so I took over the business with four other guys. He offered me the business. I took it over. So from, from January 1st of 1993 or 94, I had to run the business, pay four employees, out of my own savings and I had a, my wife and I had, we had our first son and I had to live on that without any pay until at least the middle of the year until I started having income coming in. So uh, all these sacrifices are taking place, all these things, all this process and honestly we're not seeing a whole lot of fruit from it. But I'm definitely putting a lot out to build the foundation. By age 35, instead of just keeping four people in the company and leaving it to that, I grew the company to 34 people in the, in the business as a small business owner and uh, ended up starting a secondary company to work with that. And it was a, it's a supply and install company. 
So we work those two together. We have 34 people in the company and we're really beginning to see a lot of fruit and things are growing. So uh, I remember being 42 years of age. I'm going to move ahead to age 42. And I'm going to the local library because they're having a book sale. And they have the book, The Millionaire Next Door. And I start, um, I bought it for like a dollar. So I start reading through it, very interesting book. And it talks about calculating your net worth. So I start sitting down and I'm calculating net worth. I never even really thought about it. So I started calculating and I'm going, whoa, okay, wow. Hey, we're doing pretty good here. So I realized that by age 35, we crossed this million dollar mark, according to the IRS assets, the whole nine yards, uh, where you become a millionaire. Now, sometimes people say, well, you know, well, Clint, okay, so you're a millionaire, big deal. If someone's wealthy, that doesn't do me any good unless they're gonna give me some of that money. But that's not the way that I want you to look at it. That's not the way that you want to look at it at all. What I'm going to be doing through this whole process is giving you the tools that are based on the Word of God. You say, well, Clint, are you going to try to sell us something? Yeah, I have an online training. I will sell that. But the main thing I want to sell you on is the Word of God. I'm not going to try to sell stocks to you. I'm not going to try to sell real estate. I'm not going to try to sell anything to you. It's the principles that are in the Word of God. So I'm going to share my experience based on the Word of God that's going to be the tools that you need to move forward. Maybe, maybe it'll be a long time until you cross that mark. It doesn't matter. It's about the mindset that you're going to pick up in and through this journey. And some of you might be saying, well, Clint, you ran a business, so that means, you know, that was a lot easier for you. Well, just to say right away, I actually know of three other companies that operated the same way that we did that all went bankrupt and out of business. The average business owner works about 60 hours a week in the United States and really have incomes of no more than $50,000 a year. So just because someone owns a business does not automatically mean they're profitable. It doesn't automatically mean that they're rich. See, the habits that I had formed before taking over the business was an asset to helping the business operate the same way as my personal life, which was founded with these biblical principles that I'm going to be, that I'm, that I'm going to be uh, sharing, sharing with you. Uh, some of you might say, well, uh, you must have a business degree or some kind of college education. No, I went to art school for six months. Um, I dropped out. I realized there was hardly any money in it. And I was stuck at McDonald's for several months before I got into the finished carpentry in the construction industry. And uh, you might say, well, you know, then you must be pretty smart, something like that. Well, just to let you know, I had D minus minus in English in 11th and 12th grade. I just barely made it. When we got tests done in class, I was the last one done every single time. In algebra, I had a D minus. I had an F a few marking periods. I did not do well in algebra. Um, so when it comes to uh, actual educational intelligence, I really don't have it. But the one, the key thing for you is this: if you have a desire to build biblical wealth, we can go on this journey together. And if you're ready to be a person who will take action, we can go on this journey together. So that's my personal story that I wanted to share with you, and um, so I'm glad you joined me on this because we're going to move forward together on your on your biblical millionaire blueprint. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the videos. I hope that your mind was open and you went into to realize the territory that you can go into in this wealth building process and see how it lines up with scripture where you have a clear conscience and you can be able to go on this journey. So for those of you who want to go deeper into this, I have a the Biblical Millionaire Blueprint. So it's a deeper training where I share with you my 25 years of experience between running two small businesses, moving into investing, uh, because really between entrepreneurship and investing, they're, they're, they're like cousins. They're very similar. And 
and what I'm going to share with you, I wish I had this training 25 years ago so that I wouldn't have had tens of thousands of dollars and even hundreds of thousands of dollars of mistakes on this journey. So I want to share these things with you because I want you to remember that in the Christian arena, 99% of the training is in one of three categories. It is, it is on how to come out of debt and be able to maintain a manageable lifestyle. This goes beyond that. The other type of uh, thought out there is the warnings about money and staying away from it. And then the third type is, for example, giving to our ministry so that God can prosper you. It's not really a training, but it is biblical principles that are being used. It's a a way of ministries being able to increase financially, but it doesn't train you how to actually prosper in the world for, for, for kingdom benefit. So the world has no problem talking about getting rich, speaking about getting rich, writing books on it. This training is one of the rare few that you're going to have as we tie into what's in scripture so you can practically apply it into your life so that you can begin to increase it. This is actual tools in your hand. So I'm going to be offering this for $120 all the sessions that I have. There's five sessions plus an introduction. Uh, each video clip is anywhere from 37, each, each video session is from 37 minutes to 57 minutes. And you're going to be able to, you're gonna have a boatload of stuff, a lot of information that's really going to benefit you. A few of the topics is going to be, ses one of the sessions is thinking like a millionaire. So if you can think like a millionaire, it's not about the actual numbers, but if you can change your mindset that you say, wow, we got an idea that actually generated tens of thousands of dollars for us, or we paid our mortgage off 10 years earlier, whatever it is, you begin to adopt a mindset that's going to help you in this journey. The, another one is discovering the principles of the wealthy. And I'm going to tie in those in scripture with, with businessmen, especially in the late 1800s, who actually used the principles in God's word to grow their businesses. I'm going to show you identically where they're at. That means you can use them also. Uh, being able to retire, I have a session called Retiring by Age 55. And uh, we're going to go over retirement myths, especially in the United States. I believe there's myths in the United States that people need to know about. And uh, I want to share those with you. The second part of that is what I call generational investing. And it's something interesting that my father did that I really got a lot of insight from him that he passed on to us and we're going to pass on to our kids. And I'm going to share that with you. And it's called generational investing. And the last topic is going to be, is going to be becoming a six figure investor. So you're going to hear a lot of principles, but it's going to move to practical applications. You're going to be given the tools to do this. So, uh, and, and the last portion of that is being able to reshape the culture using your wealth. So that's the ultimate goal of this, is that we can move into this area and I'm going to bring it together with that particular topic. So remember this, that if you don't invest in yourself, you say, well, it's $120. I guarantee you this is going to go way beyond $120. I believe this is a good deal. It's a great deal. You're investing in yourself. If you don't invest in yourself, no one else is going to. If you don't set goals for yourself, then someone else will set them for you. So I really want to encourage you, let's go on the journey together. If you don't, I hope you enjoyed what you have gotten, but you have an opportunity. You can sign up, uh, you can sign up credit card, PayPal, whatever the setup we have. And uh, we're going to take this journey together to becoming a biblical millionaire using the biblical millionaire blueprint to reshape the culture for the kingdom of God.